the ribbon that extends beyond uh, our cut our box here our white box is actually hidden so that's essentially what masking does um, yeah all right <clears throat> so let's go ahead and actually just create this header now so this time we'll create a new layer and what we want to do is we want to make uh, this overlay have the same shape as our, our uh, white box so we need to take into account this rounded corner as well so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab basically the shape of our white box and you can do that by holding down the apple key and clicking on the thumbnail of the contents of the layer and that will actually select the contents of the layer and give you that contour of the rounded uh, corners just like that and uh, let's just modify the selection a little bit so that uh, we're not going to create a shape that's the entire size of this box but just the, kind of the top, the top so now if you hold option again <coughs> if you look at your uh, your your cursor I actually have this minus sign in the bottom right corner and that means that whatever you're going to be selecting now is going to subtract from your current selection so if we do that I'll just leave us the top portion and we'll go ahead and fill this in with black so it's filled in and uh, before we go on let's just go ahead and make sure we have the right dimensions on this so we're gonna go to edit transform scale and see just how tall this is so 94 pixels is a little bit tall we really want something more like a 43 pixels so let's go ahead and just select a little bit of this and uh, delete and see if we can get closer to that so I'm going to use a shortcut key Apple T to check the height that's 59 that's close let's cut a little bit more of it off we have 52 uh, we want 43 so I'm just going to cut a little bit more and there we go 44 that's close enough so let's go ahead and apply the gradient that we want blending options gradient overlay and for the colors, uh, the first color we're going to use is 760D28. The second color, and we're going to give it a location of 39%, is going to be 951334. And the last color, the last color is going to be C51 D48. Alright, and uh, let's actually go ahead and give this a stroke as well. So the gradient applies, well, a gradient. The stroke actually applies an outline. So I don't know if you saw that, but it kind of just added a black outline to uh, <clears throat> our shape. So we're not going to use a black outline, we're going to actually use something else. Uh, set the size to 1 and set the position to inside and for the color just to give our, our header a little bit more definition we're going to use uh, 9613334 and that looks good alright okay so the next thing we're going to do is uh, just add a little bit of the text that we see here in our demo. So let's actually create a folder so we can organize this a little bit. So to create a folder for the layers, just go down here to the little folder icon, create a new group, and we'll drag layer 5 in there. And then uh, let's go ahead and enter the text in the top menu. So go to this text tool, set the font to Myriad, uh, the style to bold, the color to black and the font size to 14.58 pixels and then just drag out uh, a text box and in here we're just gonna write amenities accommodations meeting rooms activities attractions gallery, 
directions. And I actually made a little bit of a mistake. I'm sure you guys already noticed. I typed it in black, but it should be white. So just go back up here and set the color white and hit OK. OK. And uh, another quick thing is you want to actually select this all caps option just so everything's in all capitals. And then uh, let's just add some spacing here between uh, the text. Let's go back to the type tool and uh, let's see, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try and do something like ten spaces between all these words and hopefully that, that'll space out our menu a little bit make it a look a little bit better. So just copying and pasting the spaces so I don't have to type them out again. Okay. And uh, it looks like we could give it just a little bit more spacing. So um, I'm just going to add what one to each each uh, space here. And um, let's see, maybe we can add just one more too. This might be too much. Let's see. Oh, that looks good. Okay. And now I just hit uh, OK and uh, let's move it till it's about centered. Alright. Oops. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just uh, create a box for this photo here. So we'll go ahead and create a new layer and let's just drag out a box that's going to be that, that size, roughly. And again, uh, fill it with black. And let's just double check the, the dimensions of this box right here. So I actually didn't write this down, so let me go ahead and grab the dimensions from our goal. And those dimensions are 9983 nine, pixels by 393 three pixels. Okay. So back in our, our project, we can go ahead and just apply these dimensions of 983 pixels wide. And, oh, look at that, 393 pixels height already. Okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, actually center this. So you can do some nice centering in Photoshop by selecting the layers that you want to center. So we want to center layer 6 to layer 4. And uh, just to make sure that our header doesn't get messed up, we'll also select layer 5. And then uh, just go to layer, align, horizontal centers. And that should align all the layers. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, let's go ahead and just oops, apply the photo that we have here. So at this point, you should go ahead and find the photo probably on your desktop or something and drag it into Photoshop um, and open it there. But I actually have this photo already in the, uh, the goal over here, so I'm just going to drag it from here. So I'm going to find layer 4, just drag it onto... Uh, this canvas and what we're going to do is we're just going to mask the image again so holding down alt click between the layers and that will uh, mask the photo for you so you can frame it nicely okay and I'm just going to do the same thing with the logo just drag it in so it's in the top left hand corner and to organize the layers let's just create a new group a new group all right Okay, so we're getting close. Let's go ahead and just create a few of these boxes here. And then um, <clears throat> that'll probably be it for the tutorial. So let's go ahead and create those boxes. Let's create another group. And we'll start off with a new layer. And uh, just go ahead and just draw a simple box. Oops, not a simple box, sorry. A rounded box. Rounded box. Okay. Not like that. It looks about right. Drag it back over. 
cut off the bottom of it. And uh, let's go into blending options. And we're going to give it the same outer glow that we gave to uh, the large content box in the background. Opacity, opacity of 100%. And then, oops, sorry, not 100%, 10%. Blending option to normal, color to black. Uh, spread to zero, size to eight. Okay, and then we're also going to give it a slight gradient just to give it a little bit more depth. So click gradient overlay, and then uh, we're going to set both colors to black this time. And we're going to use the tabs on the top. So we've been using the tabs on the bottom, we're going to use the tabs on the top now. The tabs on the top control opacity. So set the first tab to opacity of 0, last tab to the opacity of 0, and create a new third tab in the middle, and we're going to give it a location of 39%, and give it an opacity of 5%. Hit OK, and uh, you'll notice actually that, well, we can still see the black and not the gradient that we wanted. So what we want to do is just invert the color of the box again. So you can go to, uh, what is it? Jeez, I forgot already. Jeez, uh, image adjustments invert. Okay, so there you go. You can see our very faintly outlined box. It's very subtle. And uh, let's give it that header, the same color header, header that we have up here. Uh, by doing this, what we did to create the top lip, the create the top header, select the contents of layer seven, and then uh, deselect what we don't want. Fill it with a solid color, and this time instead of having to type in the blending options again, which are basically the same blending options that we used up here we can just actually just copy and paste the blending options that we use up here. So going back to layer one, um, we can make sure we've got the right layer by hiding and showing it. And then we can right click uh, the layer itself and do copy layer style. And then back in our box header, we can just paste the layer style. And that way we don't have to enter the blending options one by one. So let's double check the dimensions of this. We want to get something that's roughly uh, probably the same as the header here, which is 43 pixels. Um, so it looks like we're actually short a little bit. So we're going to add a little more to this. So we can just select the box and then go to the Move tool and hit Option. And remember, what this does is it instead of just moving what we've selected, it actually uh, copies it and then moves it. So move it down a little bit, deselect it, and then check your dimensions again. Uh, not very much taller, which is fine. I'm not gonna. I don't want to waste too much time in here, but you can definitely fine tune it on your uh, <clears throat> on your project. Oops. Just trying to make this box a little bit bigger. Okay. <clears throat> and what you're going to want to do now to replicate all these boxes over here is uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this this group. So we've duplicated layers by dragging it down to the new layer. We can actually duplicate groups by just doing the same thing. And that will create a uh, duplicate of the entire contents of group 3. And we're just going to move this down just like that with the arrow key. We'll create another one, move it down again. And then you can go back in and resize these boxes however you need to to make it match the uh, the uh, project over here. And very quickly, before we wrap up, we're just going to create uh, these two boxes over there. Okay. So create a new group, and uh, we will draw a new box, this time without a re rounded rectangle, and uh, we'll fill it, oops, 
sorry, create a new layer inside that group, fill it with black, and then let's go ahead and 